try out and you know you can do a friendly match against me I'll put it up on the screen the uh, code you can enter in so we can fight against each other and I'll let you try out things to see how they link and stuff are you in an alliance yet Oh, okay. No worries. Are you part of any alliance yet? Because that's another way that you can help be able to level your characters up. Requesting shards for different characters. I'm not asking you to do that. I mean, if you're in an alliance and they're actually active, there's only three to four people in my alliance right now. And I give everyone a 90 day probationary period before I kick them out. But after you've donated 500 shards, then you get promoted from probation to ranger in my alliance. I don't really try and use it like there's no point right now of being the top alliance or anything. I mean, if you want to, then that's fine, but you don't have to. I mean, the best thing you can do is try and time at least a couple of minutes a day um, every time that it says you have a free box available and then all the boxes that you have that you can unlock. You know, that way as you, un you get a box that's ready to open and open it, then you can be able to do another battle, get another win and have it replaced and you'll also build up a lot more that way. But don't try and build up coins that way because it's near impossible. The easier way to build up coins is by donating and requesting donating of shards. I mean, you can have a match with me right now because I'm not competitively playing this. Like I said, I'm playing this to try and find out what works and help people out that do care to still play. And then just, you know, randomly trying things just to see if I find any more bugs or exploits and such that I need to report that would make the game, you know, more fun for people who aren't just running around, dashing around all the time or rolling around or flipping around, pinging if it's uh, MMPR red or MMPR pink. The constant moving causes the uh, game to lag. And it causes your inputs to lag so they don't come out as when they should. Ah, I see. Yeah, I'm about um, 45 minutes away from having to start coding and testing myself, so... It was a shorter stream tonight. Last time, my first stream was over 7 hours. So, yeah, this is definitely a, a, a short stream compared to that. <laughs> I don't work for Mway. I wouldn't put that death upon anyone. Because they seem to be unskilled and unwilling to try and make this game better. If it doesn't earn them more money. That's all they're in Tendem dot doing. The only reason and timing that I try and move around a bit is whenever a uh, projectile is coming but you have to know the difference between a projectile and a physical impact physical impacts you have to block projectiles as long as you're not right in front of the opponent whenever it comes out then you can just dash past it so it doesn't hit you and also some attacks have delayed strikes where that okay like Snide, for example. He has his kick, kick, slash, down, slash combo. Strike, attack. Where that whenever he does the kick, kick, slash up, there's a delay that people will block after the slash down 
but then they'll unblock and if you're even like three characters away width of the screen it'll still hit you his explosive strike is about one of the best critical damaging moves I've seen in this game my attack for that is over 3600 on a crit because I have a 65% uh, crit enhancement on him with the talent tree and the team I use with him. What type of device are you playing on? Oh, okay. So, here's something else you may not know. That um, there's assists that can cancel out of attacks. The MMPR yellow uh, assist. If you dash after the first hit goes through, or as the first hit is coming out, then you can cancel out of the attack and immediately go into another attack or block or breaker. So yeah, that definitely adds a lot of dynamic dimension to the way that character plays. Yeah, they recently added Amazon support to the game about two months ago. Initially, they had it set up for Google Play and iOS. And then... Um, they used to have a thing that on the options menu it said link to Facebook. That never happened. Facebook game room never happened for support yet. Anyways, well I'm guessing it, it just didn't happen and they no longer have any way of having it be supported because they removed it from the options altogether and they removed it as an option on their homepage as well for a link the Facebook game room but I think if it was on Facebook game room it would be really fun because it's not a very heavy game for browser usage I mean the game is built on five-year-old code and it's not very consistent code at that with a one of the worst random gen number generation uh, engines I've ever seen for the card draws But have you ever tried using like an Android Android emulator? Um, I believe uh, I talked to someone last time that I streamed. They were talking about they tried Nox, N O X, on PC, and it has native uh, controller support in it. So you could map controls and things to it. Sounds like that would be definitely an easier way to play than what I'm doing, which is I'm game streaming through Xbox One onto or from my Shield tablet, NVIDIA Shield tablet with a controller I believe that Power Rangers um, or that Bluestacks uh, 3 does support Power Rangers Legacy Wars Or as I like to call it, Broken Card Battle Simulation. <laughs> For obvious reasons. But I help my cousin be able to set it up on there. And he uses mapped keyboard controls. And just plays it on a mechanical keyboard. I wish I could use my fight stick on it. I used to... Do comp or you know competitive play tournaments in the arcades for Tekken 5 and Soul Calibur 2 back in the day whenever I used to repair arcade games for a living. 
and uh, I made it to nationals for Tekken 5 and I made it to uh, regionals for Soul Calibur 2 but I got to do an exhibition fight at nationals for Soul Calibur 2 with Eris. Yeah, I mean the game in its essence is a strategy card battle game. And then they added movement to make you think it's a fighting game. But it's not. This is not a fighting game. And anyone who tries to say that this Power Rangers Legacy Wars is a fighting game, I will call them out. At best, it's a, a strategy action card battle game. You know, they originally, on their uh, launch video, had it listed as fighting and then I, I told them, hey, you better change this or you're going to get in trouble for false advertisement. And, you know, they changed it to battle. <laughs> well, there is a Tekken Mobile that's uh, set to come out uh, sometime by the end of this month or the middle of next month, I believe. And um, it's currently in limited access on iOS in Canada. And Android, if you um, use apkpure.com. Or I also believe that um, there is a sign up for more information on their website. I can believe it. Like, uh, whenever usually, well, put it this way, before 1.3 update came out, every single time a new season would start, I would have almost 1,500 medals lost. Being at, um, where you, as the season starts, you're defaulted back down to 4,800 if you're on the max season, or the max, uh, league already. So if you're on your current at the end of the season, you don't get demoted. Yours doesn't go back to a default. You stay at what you're set at. Yeah, Trent is definitely broken right now because he has the stagger walk plus three hits as a breaker. So if all they're doing is countering you, that's not even right. Like, I don't wait for the opponent, usually, unless it's someone I know who is just going to try and sit there and connive and wait for me to do something. And there are certain players in the game that are, like, pay-to-win players that do that. I'll bait them by going out, doing a move, and canceling out of a strike. Now, the strikes that you can cancel out of are primary strikes. So, on your character screen. Well, your... On your character screen, primary strikes can be canceled out of. So, if you tap it and before the first hit completes, dash out of it, you'll cancel out of it. Are you talking about leader or assist, or both? Yeah, if you look at Mway's um, page for the game, I think it's like playpowerrangerslegacywars.com and look at all of the uh, balancing stuff that they've done for every patch under news. You'll see the new gameplay mechanics that they implemented. And then they also have like their Facebook, which is just, it's full of trolls. Stay away. Un unless you absolutely just want to tell them where to stick it. Because it's what half of the people on there do. I've done it at some points myself, and I'm not proud of it. <laughs> 